The part of the settlement that I don't see a lot of people here talking about is this, this component, which is that uh, MLS participants, realtors, now moving forward will be required to have what's called a buyer broker agreement, meaning the buyer has to sign an agreement that, that they are going to uh, compensate the buyer's agent before they get into business relationship. So moving forward, if you call an agent, buyer's agent, and want to see a house, they're going to want to know two things. Number one, do you have a pre-approval? Can you afford to buy this house? Number two, they're going to want to know how you're going to pay them before they do anything with you. Because unlike before, where you can push a button on Zillow and have somebody show it to you because they knew that they will be paid, now, since there will be no more offer of payment for the buyer's agent, buyers are going to have to prove that they can afford to buy. Even if you think you're going to go to an open house and talk to the listing agent directly, same thing. Listing agent in capacity as a buyer's agent, if you want them to represent you, are going to want to know the same thing. you got to sign documents. As you can see, the change for the sellers is minimal. The change for the buyers, however, is going to be fundamentally different.